let us all win. And please, send more help. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Hit the button, baby. Everyone who dicks wants to talk about planets. Awesome, ladies and gentlemen. We have like 500 robots around Mars. We've got orbiters. We've got rovers. We've got satellites. We've got satellites. We've got Martian airplanes. We've got robotic spider dug diggers. We've got nano miners, CubeSats, Black Sock rocket projects, Black Sock rocket projects, and all types of different things all around Mars. Which is kind of weird because it looks like a totally dead planet without anything other than dirt, 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 and pyramids. Which would be cool, but NASA never talks about the pyramids. Even though the ESA likes to put it in their old videos all over the place. Let's find out what type of science our two trillion Earth dollars have bought us, ladies and gentlemen. Some ancient Mars lakes came long after others. Oh wow, that's awesome news. Did you know in Texas, there's only one real lake, that's Eagle Mountain Lake, and the other lakes are fake lakes that they had to build and fill in with water. So yeah, if Mars had a civilization, at some point, they probably did the same thing. So you're telling me that this is what you're going to tell me? After all the time and money spent on Mars. Well, great, thanks. Man, I could find a third grader and he could have told me this. But I think it's weird to talk to people's children I don't know. Lakes and snowmelt fed streams on Mars formed much later than previously thought possible. What does that even mean, man? Why wouldn't it be possible? Like, all lakes don't form at the same time. You guys even studied geology at all? Okay, yeah, I might be in a bad mood. Also, that's why I'm doing a Mars article. I don't know why. I would do a Mars article in a good mood. You know what I'm saying? According to new findings using data primarily from NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. Hey, remember when they put up MAVEN last year and everybody's like, MAVEN, MAVEN, MAVEN. And then we got like one photo. That's awesome, huh? Yeah. Freaking Mars. I don't know if you believe in astrology, but astrologically, Mars has been up in our face for a long time. I'm getting tired of his breath. I really am. The recently discovered lakes and streams appeared roughly a billion years after a well-documented earlier era of wet conditions on ancient Mars. These results provide insights into the climate history of the Red Planet and suggest the surface conditions at this later time may also have been suitable for microbial life. Yeah, because if it was anything bigger than microbial life, we'd have to be looking for fossils and tin cans and old VCRs and stuff. Oh, we wouldn't want that. We're looking for teeny tiny little micro. Oh, and they were having another pro blander rover coming there. Like Mars is awesome in 2020 or whatever, but that thing got delayed. Why? I don't know. We'll find out someday, I sure. We discovered valleys that carried water into lake basins, said Sharon Wilson of the Smithsonian Institute, Washington, and the University of Virginia, Charleston. I have a feeling she went to a junior college at some point. Why didn't you put that on a resume? Junior colleges need more PR, man. Several lake basins filled and overflowed, indicating that there was a considerable amount of water on the landscape during this time. Wilson and her colleagues found evidence of these features in Mars Northern Arabia, Terra region. By analyzing images from the context camera and high resolution imaging science experiment camera on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, and additional data from NASA's Mars Global Surveyor and the European Space Agency's Mars Express. This article looks way longer than I want it to be. One of the lakes in this region was comparable in volume to Lake Tahoe, Wilson said, referring to a California Nevada lake that holds about 45 cubic miles of water. This particular Martian lake was fed by an inlet valley on its southern edge and overflowed along its northern margin carrying water downstream into a very large water-filled basin we nicknamed Heart Lake. Aw, Martian hearts for everyone and corporate apologies around. The chain of lakes and valleys that are part of Heart Lake Valley System extends about 90 miles. Researchers calculate Heart Lake held about 670 cubic miles of water more than Lake Ontario of North America's Great Lakes. Oh my God, I'm falling asleep during my own video. What the hell? Wilson and co-authors of the report in the Journal of Geophysical Research, Planets, map the extent of stream flow in the fresh, shallow valleys and their associated former lakes. It suggests the runoff that formed the valleys may have been seasonal. And there's no way in hell I'm making it through this whole article. Can I have some, like, interesting science? Maybe? If you can have it, come on, you can do it. The bracket, the time period when the fresh, shallow valleys in Arabia Terra formed, scientists started with the age estimates for 22 impact craters in the area. They assessed whether or not the valleys carved into blankets of surrounding debris ejected from the craters as an indicator of whether the valleys are older or younger than the craters. They concluded that this fairly wet period on Mars likely occurred between 2 and 3 billion years ago. Oh. Hey, where was Mars' orbit then? Was it closer to the sun? Farther from the sun? Or in the exact same spot as it is now? That seems like important information that appears to have been left out of this article. Some protests... I'm quitting this stupid article right now. God bless everyone. I'm sick of you, Mars. No offense, bro.
Peace out.